Ha. Wait, why can I? No, uh, I'm about to hit myself. No, no, shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh, okay. Phew. Man, I hate it when I accidentally leave my own stream on. It sounds terrible. All right. Um, welcome. Gamer time. Oh, I, I can get rid of the hell divers since last death timer. Let me get rid of that. Everything by the numbers. Gamer time, everyone. Welcome. Hello, Oxian. Thank you for the sub. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Shape of Thought. I'm just looking through my VODs. I was trying to find a specific Armor 3 mission so I could show it the bed bananas. Jeff, um, uh, the, the, the Beagle Rush VODs Armor 3 playlist, that's not all the missions, is it? That's just some of them. Because there's one I was trying to find of when we did this amphibious, well not amphibious, we did this beach assault with dinghy ribs. It was on like a narrow, long north to south, thin west to east, like temperate woodland island. And we like beached our, we, we, we like rode it on ribs on the west coast. We beached it on this beach near some rebel buildings. And I had an MP7, I remember now. I was trying to like snipe uphill with an MP7. And we had to like run up there and like storm bunkers in the mountain range. And then we RPG'd a BTR or a truck or something coming from the south. And Fari got his he helmet blown off. Uh, and then we ended up in the northeast fighting through buildings. I'm trying to find it. But I, I don't think it was in the VOD, I just like skimmed through them. I can't remember. Because I was talking a bit about Arma, I wanted to show him that one. Anyway, um, I'll look for it again later. For now... Like he says, you know how little that narrows it down? <laughs> using MP7 Beach Assault Mountains. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost certain I'm using an MP7 because I remember, I remember the moment of being like... Oh man, the MP7's alright up, up, up. I think it was an MP7, like, oh, it's alright at range, huh? And I was like spending a lot of time at the start, like like proning it in rubble. And we like, the, the, but the main thing is we like landed boats and we like assaulted west to east up a green temperate woodlands island uh, hill into a mountain range with bunkers in it. We had to blow the bunkers up. I remember that. Uh, anyway, yeah, with a flashback to it. Yeah. Anyway, um, no, it's it just because um, actually two things because because bed I wanted to show bed like some some because uh, they're doing armor. I wanted to show him like one of. Uh, like basically pick like our coolest rats mission to be like hey check this out if you like look at this mod set because i was going to offer them some of the mods like the the plates mod um but uh maybe there's cooler maybe there's cooler armor 3 rats missions that i could show i can't remember that's just one that stuck in my head it was like that was a good one um also jeff is there like any really cool freelancer footage lads ask me the other day for like cool freelancer clips i can't remember if we have any anyway you know everything, Jeff. You, you're like the lore master, so I just ask you, like, off the cuff, if, like, if you happen to know about anything. You don't have to go looking for it from here or anything. Don't worry about that, but just if you knew. Now, now this isn't just a stream that I turn on to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation of Jeff. This is kitchen time, by the way, for all of you. Uh, hello, howdy, howdy, howdy. Uh, if you just allow me to take this last big scoop of, um, basically, wheat gruel that I'm having for breakfast. It's just one big loft. It's a big one. I'm going to be chewing for, like, 15 seconds. Just give me a second here, and then we're going we're gonna to do a kitchen right afterwards. Hang on. I'll let you hear it. Oh my god. Mm. Wow. That's a, mm. That's a lot of wheat. Yeah, mm. mm. Oh no, my god, that's too much wheat for any one person to eat. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Oh yeah, maybe Jeff, maybe, yeah. Okay. I'm done. The wheat is gone. Um, it's run seven, I think. I think this is run seven. I'm starting to lose count. It's run seven. Uh, and I think this is mission three or four. It's our first UFO mission, I think. I think this is mission three, which is the one that... Um, didn't go so great on run 6. Spoilers, but we're in run 7, so you probably guessed. Um, and it's time to go. I have... Two specialists. Oh yeah! We got two specialists here. We got a medic and an engineer, essentially. And we're gonna make that work. Maybe even we have two engineers, I don't know. No, you know what, we got a medic and an engineer, we're gonna make that work. Medic Engineer and four specialists. We're not going to have to restart again today. I'm getting a run off the ground. I promise. Hey, um, check out, by the way, before we get started today. 
Um, one, get your raffles in, because we're about to raffle for specialists. Two, uh, let me just close some things. Hang on, hang on, close my phone. You don't, need to see, you don't need to see my phone. You don't need to see my downloads folder. Bum, bum, bum. Cancel that, cancel that. Okay. Now, just check out some print I've added, because I, I said I was going to figure this out for this week, and I did. Check out some print I've added to the menus now. And I do have April's ready to go if we get to April today. Um, added some print here. This is the going forward if you weren't there for the end of last stream where I kind of decided it. This is the going forward. There's no more backfill orders. There's no more overflow. If people accidentally order too much, like they accidentally order at the same time and it would, one, one of them would go over to limit, the later orders are now considered credit. Your order won't go through at all. Even if it's like you ordered five aliens and then someone bought an alien so you could only have four in the limit. I will just not do your order. I'll max it out. I'll not do your order. I'll say, you get that as credit. Now, what do you want to order with that credit? So that way, you know, if you had five spots to order and someone else orders two things before you, you don't just get like half your order and half as credit. You get to go, okay, what would you like? Just what would you like to spend on? Order again. Reset your order, basically. And it could be that mission. It could be next mission. If the limit, depending on the limit, it's up to you. So that's how it's going to be for now. Um... We're, if, if anyone wants to like get cute and try to like pretend that they ordered something in chat but they weren't the orders and I, I hope no one will do that because that would be like literal fraud but if anyone tries to fraud um, I'm just going to ask people to PM me on Ko-Fi Ko um, because that shows who actually donated so you know don't do fraud I know there's at least one person in this chat who is fraud prone you have fraud in your bones don't do fraud um, you can't get away with it so with that said uh, to me, anyway. You can't get away with it to me because I'm, I'm fraud-proof. That's not a challenge. Please don't test that. Anyway, um, this is still the menu other than that for March. Talking directly to Scammy. <laughs> <laughs> so when she says, oops, order limit to limit, just give me a mech toad. Because it, it was time. No, no more over-orders. Over-orders do mess me up. They do get me. Uh, but I want to be fair to the buyer, so this is the solution. Wait for mission. Let's get a squad going. Center uh, says, I don't think fraud people respond well to being told not to do something. <laughs> I mean, you might, you might be right. But what am I supposed to do? Tell them to do fraud? No, don't do fraud. Don't do that here. This is not a fraud friendly space. And if anyone was going to do it, it'd be me. I'd be the one doing the fraud. So, don't take my thunder, either. Okay, big health on you two. Which one of you is the engineer, which one of you is the medic? Or will you both be engineers? Maybe double engineers would be better. Medics with revive aren't that important at this point where we don't have respirators. You can't guarantee they don't just die straight up at this point. So medics with revive are less important. Having the make of course, is important. Um, but maybe just like overpowering with grenades might be the better play here. Maybe both of you are, are engineers, I think. Bazinga! Bazonga. And you're both gonna have big bazongas. There you go. Big bazongas for both of you. Not much mobility. Tons of grenades. There you go. And the rest of you are going to be my shooters and whatnot. Five defense, Brenchar. You are a machine of defense. Holy crap. You deserve a helmet for this. Everyone needs to know that you are prepared for battle. You cannot be taken, taken down. You came ready to go. Defense like that. Have, have the jacket. Just so I know, like, no one's getting you. That defense comes having a helmet. Exactly, that's why I'm giving it to him. No one is getting Renchar. Alright, as for the rest of you, what are your wills like? Not good for specialists. Um. Don't take people with, with terribly low will. Take one person with terribly low will because their job is to be the bait. They're the, the sectoid bait if we get into it. Um, and then the rest of you can just have, like, as long as it's better than their will, it's fine. High aim is good. High aim. <laughs> Minus defense with three health. That's a fun combo. 
That's a super fun combo, actually. What else have we got, huh? <laughs> looking, looking for better soldiers here. You look fine, Ogun Remy. You can come. Timberbands, what a nice last name. Very fun. Jartinder Kahal. Good a real soldier, I'll bring you. Um. Well, I see a warrior. Is this place Solaria? Oh, good stuff, Solaria. Good stuff. Great attitude. I'll follow you. Okay, you lot. You lot. So, you lot. Get your raffles in, everyone. Let's see. So, the first one is drawn to the Europeans who can't be here in person. Where is that giveaway? Hang on. Quinn says, it'd be interesting if you could send a hated soldier on a mission, they lower your squad's will unless they die, then they raise it. That's fucked up. <laughs> I would not play with that mod on. That's fucked up. <laughs> Everything by the okay, manage giveaway, and the first winner is Bond Smiffer. You're in. Let's give the Europeans another chance, huh? Here you go. Hubson is Zwei34. There you go. What do you think? Should we give the Europeans one more chance or should we restart the raffle for- If everybody's here right now! Huh? How many- How many chances should we give the European VOD watchers? What do you think, everyone? Everybody, everybody cheer! If we should give the- The Europeans another chance. They had enough chances. <laughs> restart. <laughs> Alright. This raffle has been restarted for like two weeks. It's time to restart it. <laughs> oh, he says some of us Europeans are <laughs> dedicated enough to stay up. Wow, you're gonna straight up call out the other ones. All right, there's two. The raffle has restarted now. Get your raffles in now. It's only the people who are hitting exclamation mark raffle right now that will get to be the other two and anyone else for the rest of the day. So get your raffles in. Get them in. Just a pilot raffle. It's it's the right one. It's just saying dumb stuff. I gotta change that. Here, while you guys are getting it in, I guess I'll change that now. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. Or did, did no? It is the right one. Yeah, I can see your entries going up. Can I? Yeah, yeah, I can see them. They're flying up. Keep getting. Keep bringing them in. Keep bringing them in. Let me load out the others. Meanwhile. So we've got Bond Smiffer here. James Bond Smiffer. It's a very standard looking array. Uh, you've actually got quite high mobility, so you can be the motion tracker. Uh, you can bring a AP as well, that's fine. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna go over an SMG this time. I'm gonna have everyone bring a rifle. Zwei, also a pretty good array here. Pretty good stat array. High defense, like the other one. Low mobility. Uh, low will, I mean. So you would be better off bringing a medkit because you're the most likely to get um, mind brain merged. So bring you a medkit and probably a smoke. Yeah, that works. And then you two, one of you would be bringing a flash for me. There you go. At least one of you bringing a flash. I mean, you never med kit too, so I guess Kahal, you can also bring a med kit. Don't have a lot of med kits. Alright, next winner is. It's AP7T. You're in. And the last winner of this squad. Fucking hell, it's Incredon. The Incredon is in. Jartinder Incredon. All right, we have only one smoke. We have lots of grenades. We have one flashbang. We have two medkits. Somebody says, you better not let my boyfriend die. I let everyone die here. I don't think you've been watching the campaign, but I'll see what I can do. Two shotguns, bunch of nades, flash motion, no rockets, but 
you know, we'll make this work as best as we can. Of course, of course we will. How much to pay to kill Incredon? $20,000. Folks, I'd never do it, of course. I'd never do it. Okay. <laughs> Deal? <laughs> you better get the check clearing! The joke is, I just failed the mission and get him killed accidentally. How much to- how much to kill his XCOM soldier? <laughs> Oxy says, the male bounty is in effect, remember only you can prevent mech lances. Mm. <laughs> if I need- if I want metal, perhaps I should bring an SMG. Chinatown says, how much for an ethereal right now? 20,000 USD. There's a lot of zeros on it when you ask me to do anything. Folks, I'd restart a campaign for 20,000 USD, no problem. How much to grant Secret on Soldier Invincibility? How much for all of you to ask better questions within this realm of reality? How much for an ethereal soldier? Twenty thousand dollars, Jet says. <laughs> Br Brit says, "How much to hover your mouse over Incredon Soldier like you're giving him head pats while saying nya?" Free. I think I'm going to go. Stop being weird, Chat. Smither, you're all being like funny in my sidebar chat. I'm just trying to make sure I have the right squad here. Yeah, I mean it's two engineers, four specialists. What are you gonna do about it? Let's let's just go. I think. Wait, is the ship isn't built yet? Is it? Did I ever build that ship? Is the ship even building in this timeline? Yeah, but it ain't ready anytime soon. Okay. Much to make you forget to bring the motion tracker. You can't. Can't do it. All right, operation begin. Touching down. Operation flying. Breath. France is sending an urgent mission request. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. Now, how does this thing work again? It's been a while. It's been a been a week. Sorry, I wasn't on yesterday. I had stuff come up. I'm planning to stream again tomorrow. Is the plan? To make up for yesterday. But if I can't make it tomorrow, I'm sorry. Loud and clear, big sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft. I said if I can't, I'm planning to be there tomorrow, X come please dad, but life happens, that's why I wasn't there yesterday. But I'm planning to be there tomorrow so that we can get two days of kitchen, because you all deserve your two days of kitchen. Now speaking of the kitchen, alien counter is up. You can buy nine aliens. Remember the new rule that if you accidentally overorder at the same time, the later orders will just be credit instead. And you can spend that credit to order like you normally would buy just at Beaks and Jam, you know, what you want. If anybody tries to do any fraud of it, even joking fraud, you'll be you'll be like banned. So don't don't even do like joking fraud, because it'll confuse me. You'll you'll actually be banned from the channel. This is a hard rule we're gonna do. You'll get like a you get like a temp ban if I if I judge that it was an accidental like funny you trying to be funny stupidly. If I judge you were intentionally trying to fraud someone else's money order, you'll be like perma banned with no appeal. That's uh, just to let everyone know. Hey, he's getting a little serious, isn't he? Hey, I don't think anyone here's a fraudster, but just to let you know, like there's a hard line. I don't fuck around with money. So, and I, and I have to get really hard because sometimes when I like try to be serious. The first, like, one or two times I say something that I'm trying to be serious, everyone in chat will do the thing where it's like, oh, Daddy wants us to do the thing he says not to do! No, I don't. Like, you'll be permabanned. It's- this is dead serious. I cannot stress it enough. So, let's motion track. <laughs> do not try to steal other people's money on this channel. Motion tracker on. Um... Okay. UFO's still over here. I have nothing on scope. Now, we remember how this worked last time 
we got to this position where we were going to use the LMG to have a nice clear line of sight on the uh, LZ, which is still going to be the same spot. It's just, it's just a redo of that last mission. Uh, Camel, if I have nothing wrong, nothing against that, that's fine. You just can't fraud me or my viewers. But if one of my viewers is your boss, I don't know how that works. Anyway, you can't do fraud on my channel. Yeah, we should have the ugly ammo mod. New yeah, I don't know how to get rid of this. From SH4D0 Thank you. WSW0RD. That's like seven Drone of them, France, right? please. That's seven out of nine ordered. Thank you. Seven out of nine ordered. Le drone sur France. One times le drone. You got it. Thank you very much, Shadow Sword. Shadow Sword, how did it feel to um, watch your unconsciousness followed by your rescue uh, in real time on the VODs? So not in real time. Uh, after I promised that you would be the one soldier to not die on the damn mission. Yeah, we would immediately drone. I think we're just gonna hold here. Let's push to the side and see what's going on first. Position confirmed. Woof! <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna wipe. New trade donation from Maddie. One drone, yep, thank you. First time back in streaming years, please kick me off with a single drone. Thank you very much. One more drone. There's one more alien buy spot left. Thank you very much, everyone. One more alien to be bought. Shadow Sword says, it was terrifying, and I was honestly shocked that you charged to save me. I do tend to do that. That is in my blood when it comes to XCOM. Sometimes. When I, I, I used to do it all the time. Now I just do it if I think it could work, and I did think it could work there, and it did. So this is interesting. Hunt mode is going to activate in a second, of course. <laughs> um, okay. So, we're going to have nine... Well, if someone knows the extra one. Right now we're going to have eight aliens next turn coming from this position. Uh, we're going to have immediate hunt mode. I don't want to evat because I need this mission to carry the campaign on because it's like the third mission. New trade donation from out, thank you. Max out, maxed out, thank you. Thank you. Thank, you. Go drone. thank you so much. That is maxed out. So that is a lot of drones. That is two drone. We're maxed out. Thank you very much, everyone, for ordering responsibly. So that's seven drones and two sectoids, if my memory is correct. Le drones of France is, yep, five drones, two sectoids. That's seven drones and two sectoids is the total order. The real problem is these fuckers who are about to hit us. We, we, we kind of need to kill this pod on the side, I think. We need to activate and kill this pod over to the side. Because hunt mode will make the... Uh, hunt mode is when there's active aliens that, are, that can't see you. After like a couple of turns of that, all the aliens in the map start converging on you, including the outsider. So th these these pods, no matter what their behavior is, run away, stay still, they're gonna con like congress on me in a second, in like two turns. I probably need to just kill one of them immediately. Like I need to kill this pod next turn and the turn after, so that when this pod comes towards me and the, the LZ pods come in, I can just fight laterally like this. I think I need to like control this cliff as well, so when the outsider pushes me, I can like shotgun and grenade them. The pods are three, right? Well, they should be, but... Oh, this looks like a pod of four. All right, actually. Sorry, my uh, my shirt is brushing against the mic. My breast. Sorry, don't 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 listen to it. I think it might be three and three. <sighs> okay. Yeah, this is a really open defense area because we don't have uh, room on the side to work with. Might have to pop the smoke because we have to take yeah. the left side here. This, this is not where I would like things to be happening, no. I'm not pleased by this. But I think... Uh, yeah, I don't have to get rid of this. I'm not pleased about this. How do I get rid of this damn battery thing? This is annoying. Damn you, Mini Mods Collection. How do I get rid of that? Anybody with a new Mini Mods Collection know how to get rid of that battery thing? New due donation from Cancelletto 1 in Crodonate. Twenty million dollars to kill in Crodon. Every journey begins with a single step. The tyranny of bot posting must end. No, we we meant in the game, man. 
We, we met in Grenada Soldier, not like in real life. It's not like a GoFundMe for an assassination. You, you can't do that. <laughs> it's not like a not like a good reaction to like not liking vote poisoning, I gotta say. Okay. <laughs> Go murder me. <laughs> Alright. It's so brave of you to post that while Ingridon is literally in chat, by the way. Okay. Drop drone one. Um, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's the Ladrone, eight, Everything nine, matters. orders up. Okay. Y'all couldn't lure me in this time. This time we're back to right off the bat. Did we ever try Drop Woman? I never tried Drop Woman. I never did it. I was never brave enough. So that pod's fucked off. That's good, actually. That's really good. That pod needed to fuck off, so this is a good thing. You know, actually, because the aliens haven't been spawned yet, if I make contact and keep contact, hunt mode won't trigger. Though the outsider probably still come, because it seems to be its own thing when that happens. Um, alright. We're gonna have to pop the smoke, I feel like, to fight these gamers. I'm just gonna move you up and see what's going on with Bondsmither. Because maybe it's just like... An easy pod? Like, yeah, like three drones. We can fight three drones. We can make this work. We might take, like, some scratch damage, but we, we can do this. Someone just needs to, like, make a wacky move to, like, activate them, basically. Oh, I mean, the order drones could all land and I could kill them all this turn. This is what I wanted. Though it means hunt mode still procs if I kill all of them, but that's fine. Killing the enemy is more important to me. Can I also just, like, grenade you now? Yeah, if I wanted. Okay, see how many of them you can clap without having to do that? I'm on it, Commander. Let's go. Nice shooting is why. Fae Crisis says, keep one alive when it's a event hot mode. Oh, will I do that, Fae? Damn, what a good idea. It actually is a good idea. It just isn't because I don't have a suppressor. And that's why you deserve to be mocked. So cruelly. I don't know why we like this streamer. He's so mean. Yeah, he's so mean. That Matchbox 20 song. He's so mean. Fake Crisis was just trying to help. Aye, aye, Commander. Well, like he says, I love seeing which shadows actually want to live. It took me a minute to, to figure out what the fuck you meant until I realized you meant, oh, like the ones who hit their shots, right? That's a load of bull. Uh. Chinatown says, why did you mention Matchbox 20? I was having a good night. What have you got against Matchbox 20, brother? What's wrong with them? You don't like Matchbox? Do you have a problem with Rob Thomas? Wow, that grenade sucks, damn. Chinatown says, yeah. Oh, you do, do you? Well, I see. <laughs> Trickier says, I don't like that there are 20 of them. How about that? Are you going to flank me on the side if I shock and overwatch you? I don't know how this is going to work. You wouldn't dare, right? Maybe. Maybe I should just grenade you to, to deal with things. The grenade probably won't kill this one, though, so it still sucks. I kind of positioned you wrong though for this. You needed to be like here for Overwatch. And I feel like you can get shot on the flank. But you won't. The thing is, Ergo won't get double crit by drones, but Ergo could. You're really relying a lot on the drone AI here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I think you'll get Overwatched as the thing. 
I think they're too close to do the, the shotgun overwatch gambit to right now. If I do it this way, it might work better. One way or another. So do me one AP grenade. Yup. And then what you're gonna do, I think, is you're just gonna overwatch this one. And it should make it back off. Might still shoot though. It might be better to just kill you, I think. Just safe safe than sorry here. You've only got two med kits, so just safe than sorry. Yeah. We don't need to play around on those med kits immediately. Now what I want to do is I want to get to that position without activating another crap if possible, but just want to get to that position. That's affirmative. Huh? Oh, shoot. Okay, where do you really want to hold here? If you go here, you can get gathered from the log, but not if you hold this position. We want to move up here. Maybe, maybe here, here. The outside is going to come, but you can fall back for that. We have no scout, though. That has you flanked there. Assuming I've lost, which it should work because of... No, no step out. Spawn A's already did. Already did, you gaslighter. They were spawn already. Everything by the numbers. Go here. Still close enough to move up there if I want a grenade. Uh, and it stops them from getting any further than they need to. Holds them back here. Let's, uh, let's push you into here. That's affirmative. That's affirmative. You come around to... One of you over there. You two, uh, AP7, c you're gonna move over. Link says, I can't believe Beagle has just been taking everyone's money, not spawning any A's fraud. See, you're actually helping me out, Blinky, because you and everyone else who ironically accuses me of doing things wrong and canceling me when I haven't done anything wrong as a joke, eventually when I do actually, inevitably, like all content creators, do some kind of fraud on you or do something terrible that I should be cancelled for, um, no one will believe it's real. They'll just say, oh, we're really like, doing a joke in chat again? No one will believe you. It's great. You've, like, immunized me from consequence. Where are you going? You're going to... Oh, you're going to here. I'm on it, Commander. Cyborg says, Beagle, do you still have the John Cena toothbrushes you got when you were in America? I sure do. I sure do. Yeah, I do. Thanks for asking, actually. Moving. The boy who cried wolf is a fraud tactic. Clever. Thank you. I am nothing if not clever. Oh, yeah. Reloaded. <laughs> can we see them? You can hear them. They're in my closet. I'm not going to get them right now. Maybe, maybe tomorrow. Place Larry says, streamer admits to planning to eventually scam audience. I'm not planning it, it'll just happen because I'm a content creator. That's just how it works for us. Heading to that location. Future Cyborg says, I love it. Are you still in the first one? Oh, I don't use them anymore. I brush the shit out of those things. They're those things are like from ten years ago. I can't I can't brush my teeth with them anymore, but I just keep them for for you know the novelty value. Blinky says, oh, I was just making it a little jokey because they're John Cena toothbrushes. Right. I think Blinky's going a little crazy, everyone. Woo! Heading there now. So we can't see them, says Blinky. Uh huh. Woo! -hoo, woo! -hoo. I'm on it. Oh, I get you, Blinky. I get you. We can't see the beagle. No, I, I get you. I get what you mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. You crazy chat. Got absolutely gone nuts. <laughs> Pathfinder just writes, John Cena is invisible. <laughs> <laughs> what if you lived in the new, the new YA novel? What if you lived in a dystopian future where no one got your jokes? The city is perfect. Everything you need is taken care of for you. 
when you come of age, you go to the aptitude test and you're given your your job clan role for the rest of your life. Everyone's happy in the city. But no one thinks you're funny. No one gets your jokes. <laughs> Nobody gets my jokes anyways with Dyson. <laughs> Like it says, they know everything's perfect, is it? And that's why you're the protagonist, don't you get it? On the I think move, move up. Ooh, hello, drones. Time to get shot. That is not good. I want to bring the squad back because I made like a little bit of a mistake here. Well. I haven't, I haven't. The flanking split up squad is a tactic that's good for like, if I get f sectoids or outsiders pushing me, but I have seven drones to kill. I kind of need to mass the firepower instead. I need to mass that firepower here. So, you know, could you call it a mistake? Yeah, you could call it like a minor mistake. A little mistakey. A little itty bitty one. Tani says, now you said time to get shot and drones didn't get shot, which means Inquidon is about to get shot. No! No! General Spoon says, you're gonna be the one streamer I sub to until the day I die, but... So much wrestling and I love it. What? What does that mean? <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't understand. Relevant? Headed there now. You talk about wrestling a lot, man. Oh, and like that that's a thing that might make you not subscribe to me as I talk about wrestling too much. Makes you unique. I like it. I don't think I talk about wrestling a lot. Name the name the times I've talked about wrestling. Like, this year, even in the last two years. I feel like you can count on, like, three hands. I mean, three fingers. Right now. That, chat brought that up. Chat brought up the John Cena toothbrushes. Resting is anime for America. Zach, do you not love it? Often enough to be a trade of yours. I don't think that's true. I really don't think, like, I'm a wrestling converser or anything. Fanny says there's a lot of parallels of wrestling and streaming. Yeah? Are there? <laughs> Holy fucking shit is wrong. Incoming over here. Obsidian says you seriously forget about that one time you, you performed a head scissors twirl a whirl on jam live on stream? I mean I definitely haven't done that on stream, I'll tell you that much. Alright, they're all, they're all, they're all pissing me off. These drones are pissing me off. What, what are these drones in chat going to come on? They're all pissing me off right now, that's what. They're all lying to me and making up things that aren't real and pissing me off. <laughs> Seriously, I got some fucking problems here. But these, these drones don't give a fuck. They're, they're like... I mean, that, this, you can see there's problems here. There's problems. I got issues. I'm gonna get motherfucking shot. Oxy says, how much you do that movie set on the stream? I have no idea what it is, but it sounds cool. I don't know either, but it sounded like something I could not show on camera. Let's be real. I don't know if Ingrid should stay here. I think Ingrid's gonna get... Well... If the shotgun comes to here, you have to be further than 10 tiles away, because I think 10 tiles is shotgun range. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you should stay there to keep the, the drones back. You should come up to here and overwatch from there to keep the drones back. I really want to shoot the landed ones, but I kind of can't. There just isn't, like, a spot that lets me see that one because of how it's lost itself. And the other one's out of range. I feel like Inquidon's going to take a lot of fire there. But if you have both the shotgunners overwatching, Kronon should not get flanked, which is probably good enough in full cover, to be honest. 
So let's just hold the line, eh? Let's hold the line. I'm on it, Commander. You could be able heals too. That's true, but that's just a useful term. I feel like I borrow that from the wrestling community rather than being a wrestling fan. I've, I've never watched wrestling intentionally. I've never intentionally done that. Nice shooting! You're gonna back up, Zwei. Aye, aye, Commander. Because you're in danger there. Just kill it. Damn. Das Lecter, what was says, what was your Undertaker throwing mankind off Hell in a Cell moment of your streaming career? I couldn't choose that. Chat would have to tell you. Only chat could answer that. Not me. I couldn't answer that. Eberman says, does anyone consider that Beagle doesn't use a camera now because he's gotten super jacked and doesn't want anyone to connect the dots when he transitions to being a luchador? I would use my fame to springboard my luchador career, so that doesn't make any sense. Shotgun Overwatch, keep him back. Shotgun Overwatch, keep him back. The problem is when the outsider shows up, or the sectoids, obviously. The totally spies lore? <laughs> Is this meant to be like my low point or my high point? People always say that thing about like throwing mankind off the hell in a cell or whatever, but like doesn't that sound awesome? Or like did they die or something? Like I, I have no idea what this meme is about. Like was it part of an act or did like someone die? If you're not taking too much fire there, I don't like that. You're just gonna have to hunker. Temple mission where you spent half an hour flying back and forth. Holy shoot, the drone beam. We're gonna full anchor on back or hunker anchor on. We're gonna full anchor on back now because the sectoid's coming. I'm all right. ah! He didn't dive, it certainly could have. Was this like a real thing that happened? I, I don't want wrestling. Was this like a real thing? Like someone wrestled someone off of a place and it was really bad and they could have died and they were like super injured and like they tried to cover it up or like was it an intentional stunt can someone explain to me like I've never understood this meme I don't do wrestling I mean wrestlers of 100% die doing wrestling no I get that you can die doing almost anything like I'm not saying that like it wouldn't happen just because it would plan I'm just saying like was this some kind of like bad thing that happened like, is it meant to be a bad thing or a good thing? They say never forget that that happened, but was it, like, good or bad? It's friend says, I feel like you of all people should understand kayfabe. No, no, like, I, do you guys know what I'm trying to ask here? Like, was it a good or a bad thing that this happened? Are we meant to remember it because it was important and cool or because it was terrible and was covered up? I don't understand why some people in chat are like, oh, doesn't he get the, like, wrestling's fake? That's not, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> no one, somebody exploded through a table. <laughs> it's good because it's a really difficult thing to replicate, thing about someone dying. So it's, so it's like a high point of a career. It was like a good thing. This is a thing that we liked. It was good when it happened. Everyone was like, wow, that's awesome. Yeah, that's what I'm getting from this. It was amazing. Okay, cool. So when you ask, what was my Hell in a Cell moment, then it has to be something I did that was really cool, right? Really awesome. Beagle hasn't hit his yet, says PG. It's actually one of the best disses you've ever given to me. <laughs> While also being faintly hopeful, PG. Now what am I going to do here? Sectoid coming in is a problem. If I get back off the tree, I think I can break loss of them. Yeah, it's probably the temple ship flight then. It has to be, right? Well, you could always be the guy who gets thrown. That is common in this game. Heading to that location. Ah! Shot wide. Ah! I don't like it! Pull you back, pull you back. Let's see it from there, okay. Nice! 
Let's do it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, one drone down. SCP says, the guy who was throwing was called Mankind and was legendary for doing dangerous things you could injure him. Yeah, me too. I sit in an office chair for like 12 hours a day. It's very dangerous if you look up the studies. I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess you guys are right. VG's right, saying that a, a point in my past was the high point of your past and future is the fucked up thing to say, I guess, but I don't think anyone was saying that. You assume that of me. The, the future of At Beaks and Jam Channel is bright, everyone. Don't worry, we're not done yet, right? So many more great things to come. The game that will define who I am as a streamer hasn't even been invented yet. Maybe. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I'm fine, don't worry. If you're gonna go backwards. Ten four. You're looking at the top Helldivers streamer right here. I wish. I wish I could be the Helldivers guy. Overwatch. Overwatch, keep the Sectoids back. The problem- uh, I mean the drones back. The problem is when the Sectoids come and mind fray the shotgunners, we're gonna lose our anti-drone power. Really, the shotgunners should be back behind the rookies. Top Spang streamer. Lobo says, what was the getting hit with a steel chair moment of your career when Baru pulled out of the modding initiative that he hired us to do? Or like was get was investing us to do, got us to do. Um no, or uh me going to the PGI PUBG tournament in Romania and getting just like sidelined and frozen out and being unimportant. The oh, oh you didn't want to make it serious, did you, chat? Oh well you shouldn't have asked. Those were literally my getting hit with a steel chair moments. Our readings can't oh, be God. If so far, oh god. That's a being of almost pure energy. Oh god, oh god, oh god. One only Jay says, if it's, if it's, if it's only value, you go in the hell ever speaks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it is a value to me. We should make a Helldivers Union. We should all go to the same planets. You guys want to make a Helldivers Union? Like a 10,000 Helldiver guild? We should do that. I'm in charge, of course. I'm the general. People are like, Beagle, you're in Romania? And then your favorite says, Beagle has bastard children in Romania. What is wrong with you? Why would you say that? <laughs> what would motivate you to say that? <laughs> Why would you ever need to? <laughs> Big if true! <laughs> need to get the outsider obviously or we die here this is why we brought the HEs though um, notably uh, the HEs probably will not blow up this tree in which case we die anyway Uterus says I just realized we Morbius Beagle with the organizers of that PUBG tournament yeah you did I appreciate it I can maybe get a flash in no you're not gonna dare we're in a lot of trouble here Jason says Beagle is just Andrew Tate for boat nerds what the fuck I get an AP on you. No. So I basically gotta pray that these two HE grenades together can take the outsider's cover out. Because if not, big problems. Big, huge problems. Big, McLarge, huge problems if this doesn't work. So big, I'm kind of considering taking the half cover just to make sure I hit. I could smoke. Yeah, I, I gotta make sure these HEs work, so we're probably gonna do it. Hello, you fucker. Janice says, let's not compare people to Andrew Tate. Yeah, that's that's very kind of you. I'm so glad Chad has found the line. <laughs> yeah, please, feel free to compare me to a sector with all you want. That's fine. But do not compare me to Andrew Tate. One of the most disgusting, sniveling people on the planet. Um, Let's HE here. I need to get this outsider. What about comparing Beagle to a founding father? <laughs> what do you want from me at this point? You want my consent? <laughs> Alright. 
you come here. <laughs> XCOM please dead, does that mean sectoids don't have a choice about that heinous shit they do? Who do you th <laughs> No, and this is serious. I I'm not gonna ask the question, I'm just gonna make a statement. I'm pretty certain, I've thought about this for five seconds, and I'm pretty confident, as confident as I've been of anything in my life, that a single sectoid absolutely has not had a worse impact on planet Earth than Andrew Tate. Absolutely. There's no way. Roger that. Now shoot that outsider. Tassicosa says the sectoids didn't kidnap as many people as Tate. And there you go. Now we never need to speak about Andrew Tate for the rest of this stream. No more. We, we will not dignify him a place in our mind palace. Kill that outsider. Not around. Once your target says... <laughs> Once your target said... I agree. Sectoids are little cute slaves. There's something wrong with what you've said. There's abs- I'm screenshotting that because there's absolutely something wrong with what you've written. I'm sure of it. I'm- I'm going... I'm going to my pictures folder. I'm saving it right next to this picture of Zoe from World War Armies. And I'm gonna call it... Monsieur's Moment.png. Now that is Monsieur Target's Hell in a Cell moment right there. That is your strawberry cock moment. <laughs> Why do you keep a picture of Zoe? Because so I can turn her face into smug emotes later. That's why. Position confirmed. His what? Are, are you chatters? Are there are there chatters? No, there. It's like ten years ago. That's old lore. The strawberry cock moment. The moment in Long War. Does, does Jeff, do you have the screenshot? I'd rather show the screenshot than uh than say it out loud if I could. Goodbye, outsider. Eagle, have you added the hey commander to your sample already? No, we're gonna do it right now though. <laughs> because I always forget. Hold on. We'll, we'll do it in between. Remind me in between missions. We're gonna do it right now. We'll do it in between. Oh, that's not the original, Jeff. The original was from like 10 years ago. Basically, like at the start of my streaming career of Long War. I had like 2,000 viewers and straw a user named Strawberry Cock in all lowercase wrote in Chat is moving so fast, no one will see me say I want to be impregnated by chrysalid eggs. And like, chat like stopped right as they said it. It was a great day. I'll tell you what, it was a great day. And history was made. They didn't know it yet, but history had been made. Anyway, if you were there, you'll remember. Everything now I need to get a, uh, a smoke going there for um, Brenchar, especially because Brenchar is the engineer, and especially because Brenchar is going to get sectoided. I need a bait rookie to be a, a juicier will target, but I can't really do that. So, you know, we're just going to bring you back Ooh. to here. Luckily for us, chat moves much slower now. Yes, luckily for everyone. Little smoke. What was your strawberry cock moment says PG? Oh, I, I shudder to think. It's easier for me because when you type something in chat, you have to like commit to pressing enter. My utterances have come out over the years. Oh no. I've said strange things. Um. You're gonna shock and I've watched here, just keep him back, keep him back. Mm, you're gonna come to here? No, here? What about here? I'm on it, Commander. Now the idea here is I need to get rid of the sectoids, they're a threat, but other than that, the shotguns can keep the drones back nice the whole time. And we just take shots. The fan says now Beagle has fewer viewers, but more people throwing money at him. Uh, you know, serious no. I hope that shotgun earth doesn't get. Ha! Ah! Serious no. I mean, that is how you know we stay afloat here. Is that I've for a long time I haven't had many viewers, but those of you I do have here, relatively speaking, I mean, 
Um, those of you I do have here are always so supportive and generous, and you've always donated so much, and I think people subscribe and donate here a lot more than uh, in other places. And I appreciate that a lot. It's how we stay afloat. Thank you. I don't know why, but you all support me a lot, and I appreciate it. It's very, very meaningful to us. Keeps us going. Thank you. People, don't get sentimental. You're in the middle of combat. It's not the time. Get sentimental afterwards in the lifetime movie they make about this battle. That you will, are gonna win, by the way. I am gonna win this battle. Okay, that's pretty good. I got away of a lot there. Um... Oh, I mean... You could kill a lot of sectoids here. Probably, probably one of the best chances you're gonna get to kill a lot of sectoids. The fan says we legitimately want you to keep streaming. Isn't that crazy? Isn't it crazy that you want that? That's crazy. Um, those drones are getting a little close for comfort, though. Is there anywhere I can just, like, fall back to? Look, I don't know, like, this might be my best moment to kill a bunch of sectoids, but even if I blow their cover up, I don't really have follow-up. No one's even got ammo on their guns. It might be better off just to retreat right now. But I don't know what you do after that is the problem. Oh, I do now, sure. That was from a while ago, I think. Oh, did, 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 did the clip Jeff linked have the screenshot in it? Maybe it did. What am I going to do here? This is a pivotal turn. This is a pivotal turn is going to define whether I wipe and start a new campaign or win this battle. If I do stay, I can chuck an AP to follow up from here if enough of their cover gets destroyed. But the drones are going to run rampant on me. Just as I can't believe you doubted me. I'm so sorry, Jeff. I'm a doubter. It's what I do. If even one of those bits of cover gets blown up, you get to get the other ones. We need to bring the other engineer over to get the others, but they need to be overwatching. There's a lot of awkward here. The grenade might do nothing, and then you're gonna get fucked by the three sector in my mode. You can run back to here. The problem is the sector is then just move up to indestructible cover. But you might be able to move back with an AP grenade them at that point. You can maybe run over to here instead. Because I fought four and three. At best, there's like two more aliens out there, and they're probably not right here, right? Probably. So if I run to here, right, and I put the flank on them instead, then I, I, I like elastic here. I let them move up, and then I take the side on them. That could work. So we would consolidate all of you over here, break loss with the toids, and then you could run in. You could reload and start running in next turn. Dragonwire says that flash near energy would be huge if possible. Oh, an AP here? Yeah, but unfortunately AP can't get it in. It's a very tempting grenade, but I think it's bait. If it works, though. If it rolled environment damage like the other one, you could potentially kill three sectoids right there. Is that worth the risk? What happens if it fails? We all know what happens if it succeeds, is you get fucked with by drones for a bit, but everything kind of works out, probably. But even then, you still have another sector getting you. Probably need to run. I would say need to run. That's the smart thing to do. Now, do I run Bondsmith to the side? Yes, because otherwise I get hemmed in. I need Bondsmither to run to the side. And Bondsmither will make sure that they cannot flank me for free while the rest of us hold the rear. That's what I think we need to do here. So you run. Hopefully there's no pot over here. It's a small UFO. There shouldn't be that much left on the map. Y'all fall back. Just completely break loss here. We have to. We have to. Oh man, we have to like fully break loss. I think. I gotta get my reloads in though. I can't afford not to. Or can I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. It might be. Better to just get the fuck out of lots of those sectoids. Probably. You really can't afford people getting fucked up on sectoid right now. A 
Okay, so full you back. Down. Okay. Je confirme la position. I don't like it, but I feel like this is my best bet what I'm doing right here. But I don't like it. I don't like it. Good to go. Rock and roll. Yeah, Trying to do my best in the bad situation here. Pixel says, what does it feel like to be fucked up on Sectoid? We went through this last weekend, but I can't remember. What did we say that the Sectoids are beaming into your head now? It's always something different. Every year we decide the Sectoids are mind frame, you have a different image in your head. I better be a damn dash. Yeah, I know that's a dash. Okay, now that's a better grenade. Uh, it's not that Chinatown, it's just they don't like taking the shots that are too far away, I think. Infowars and 2x. <laughs> it's Zoe now. Hey, Commander! Ooh, that drone didn't give a fuck. Nice shot! You should've. Nicely done. Very, very nice. We still got six sectors out there, which is pretty damn scary. I don't think I have any smoke to get him with either. No, my smoke's all gone. I mean, this feels like the moment. You have nowhere else to run. Now you've got to push forward. Get back into him and take him out. In fact, we don't even need to push forward here, which is nice. We're just going to do the taking him out part. One HE there. Maybe even push up a little bit more of the others. They're, they're quite far back. Then we push up a little bit more. Those drones are going to get your ass, though. That's the problem. It's scary. I'm scared right now. I'm very scared. We have to hold you back with shotgun overwatch. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Rookies may die. Rookies may die here. That's a sacrifice that I must be willing to take. Bien, come on on. All right. Well, give him an HE, baby. Let's do it. Class at Amps is there, girl. You're both engineers. Good HE. AP gamer time. Can't get them both. Oh, we can't get the third one, but you can get these two. So kill them up. Kill them up good. Oh my god. That's two of those nasty sectoids down. Should be four total now, I think, right? Yeah, four, should be four total. We need to kill this motherfucking drone. This rhyme noceros right here. Okay, you're shooting, you're shooting, you two are shooting. Okay, let's go. There now. Need to hit this, why? Please hit this. Please don't miss this. You fuck. You absolute Ooh, fuck. Not good. No, it's not good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You gotta back off and over. Oh, shit, you can't. Fuck. Maybe if you come to here. Overwatch from there to try and keep them all back. Yeah, we tried to cordons, but uh, the battery... You can see the text is back, but the battery still... I don't know how to get rid of it. Do not know how to get rid of it. It's annoying. It is annoying. Headed there now. Move you down to here. We're gonna... 
I want to say reload, but honestly, maybe hunker, because if they chase you, you need to not get panicked over there on your own, or you're dead. I'm gonna put faith in the shotgun overwatch to hold the drones back here. Good dodge. Well done. Ah, you fucker! Low damage roll is kind. Got away with that pretty neatly. Just gonna get AP back now. The drones are being held at bay by the shotgun overwatch there. Very clutch. Alright. Let's finish you off. Another drone bites the dust. Good, good, good. You're gonna get back. Kind of like full break loss from the sectoids, maybe? Maybe. Yeah, because that don't see him. So if I get you back to here, right? And I get you and you two back. Yeah, 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 I can break loss. Solid copy. I think breaking loss is good for me here, though it might make the drones just push me in a way I don't like, so we'll see. But I think breaking loss is... I mean, breaking loss is almost always a good thing. It should be good here, but we'll find out. The drones don't know about the shotgun overwatch right now, but they also don't know where I am. Anchor says drones understand the world works on Vampire the Masquerade rules where five guys of a shotgun can do a kill kill just about anything. Yeah, yeah call it Cthulhu rules. Don't do that, mate! I'm, I'm gonna have to revoke your suppression license for that. I'm sorry! It's gonna have to happen! And they're gonna give him a little shot there, a little gamer shot. Bye bye! <laughs> bye bye, baby. <laughs> See you later. Hey, you landed. Hey, what the fuck is up, motherfucker? Oh, get in your ass. Okay, we ain't uh, we ain't lost blocking anymore. He's winning. Maybe, maybe Beagle's winning. We don't know that yet for sure. Back in. We don't know for sure the Beagle's a winner right here. But I did just kill a Sectoid, so that's kind of dope. I was going to say there's more dead Sectoids than I remember, but it's actually just lily pads. Don't panic. Don't panic. <gasps> Danger, danger for this soldier. We need to try to support them. I I, I thought all of these were dead sectoids. They're, they're very similar, you see. Wait, that is a dead sectoid. These, but you see what I mean? <laughs> it's actually really hard, at a glance, to tell that those aren't dead sectoids. I never noticed that before. Only, at, only out of fog, really, I guess. But not even in fog a little bit. 3200 hours, folks. It's always it's always something new with this game. Never noticed that before. Isn't that crazy to play a game for that long and just never notice just how similar they look? <laughs> you gotta stop and smell the roses or lily pads or corpses. One, 
to three dead sectoids. That should leave three left and three drones, I think. Natural camouflage. You better go sell the sectoids sneaking through, yeah. Guess I should give them concealment. One, two... I think we're gonna push back out on them now. We don't have lightning reflexes, which is um, awkward here. For making said pushes. But uh, we gotta do what we gotta do here. Oh, fuck. Weird. I just activated at least two. It, the camera like decided I didn't get to see what else, but I just activated at least two sectoids. Weird camera there. I do not know how to get the soldier back. Maybe just like run around the map and break loss. That should be the last pod to activate at least. So you should be able to just like run now, I think. Shouldn't have to be scared. See so you're over here. If there's another pod, I don't know what to tell you, Bond Smiffer. We do want to catch up to Bond Smiffer, we don't want to leave him on their own. We can't catch up in this direction, so we'll probably start moving in this direction instead. Solid copy. We have to break loss. We have to break loss. That's affirmative. That is uh, that is important here. You think that'll get you spotted over the hill? Probably not. Yeah, probably be fine. What's your will? It's not good. Okay. This is where the low, mo low mobility really comes back to bite you, actually. Deco. Affirmative. Affirmative. Je couvre la zone. Affirmative. Covering now. Defense you. Ready to rock. I think we'll get some lucky Overwatch. You never know. That is not lucky Overwatch. That is Mind Fray at a 45%. Don't do it! Nice! Lucky. We need to make use of that. Are we taking any health wins yet? Not yet, but we're in half cover. Yep, 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 yep. Kill him. Good damage, at least. Not a kill, but it's good. Just gotta whittle those numbers down a bit on the sectoids. By any means necessary. Fortunately, the engineer is one of those means and they've been suppressed now. Oh, there's another one over there, too. Aren't you a little cutie? That monster's chat message is back in my head. Damn it. Well, the drones ain't chasing bombs never, that's good. But motherfuckers need to be grenaded right about now. And if you go there, the sector will do a fun little move where they go here and flank you, so you gotta be careful. You gotta be quite careful here. I could maybe flank you, but I think it's better to let you get closer first. This should be... Maybe hide advantage. No, it's only two sets of elevation. Or are you actually getting a little bit extra there? You might be getting a third step, I think. The These cliffs are generally high advantage because they're an extra step of elevation uh, advantage. You do get a flank here. You get a couple of flanks, actually. It depends on when you're left. There's like five sectoids by my count. This is um fake step out, right? I think this is a fake step out flank. Come here, everyone. Let's find out. On the move. Yeah, fixed step out. No, it isn't. Why is that not a fixed step out? But the other way is. Oh, because you'd have to be on this tile with a block. Oh, yeah, that's the wrong way to do it. However, really friendly uh, free shot here. Careful being greed. Oh, there's there's no greed here now. This is just about kill or be killed at this point. This is the the meat hitting the metal of sectoid. Fortunately, I can't quite get you from this position here. They've got me in a nice little flanking position. But if I take the position to grenade them, that one's covering, so I can get rid of this one. Because I, I want to take that flank, but it's it's just not quite worth it, you know? Just ain't quite gonna work. Bring it up to here instead. And 
The rest of you are probably going to fall back a bit. Might bring it in here and, uh, like, overwatch. You, I want you to break loss. I want you to get a position where you can't really be seen one way or another. I don't have a hard time with that. What about here? Yeah, technically. They can move to the log still. Okay, go to here. Kind of leaves you in a bit of trouble, though. Like, where do you go, AP-7T? You haven't really got anywhere good to move. That's that's the flank that I'm talking about. That's the flank if I go here that'll get me, right? Or is it there? I think you don't get to flank me there, but you do if I was here. I can't remember how the weird flanking rule for Mexican 1 goes that we were talking about last weekend. I think it's that if you were here, you could be flanked by this tile. But I don't think it counts to here. I don't think that's a flank. Shouldn't be. And you can't stay there because that one will just flank you from there. Though, I think you just go backwards, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Fuck, you can just go to here and it should be okay. Daol. It should be okay. It should be just fine. What isn't just fine, I just realized, though, is you are actually, like, just l legitimately flankable in that position, Brenchar. One, two... Should have considered this, shouldn't I? Fuck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 15, 16, They can just move to here and flank you, like, legit legitimate flank. That's actually a problem. I gotta spam enough Overwatch that they're scared and stay back, I think. That's legitimately an issue. That'll run it now, but that's as bad as getting flank shot anyway, so fuck it. Probably just gonna, like, spam Overwatches and pray for the best. I really wanted to shoot you, too. I am gonna, I am gonna shoot you. I have to shoot you. Nice damage. You're gonna have to Overwatch. You're all gonna have to Overwatch to try and keep him back. Scary. Very scary position to be in. And you just have to keep running away, I think. Me friendo. Probably to here for right now. Headed there now. I don't see any drones coming after me. Oh, I'd use a, a, a tile distance counter, just not the aliens thing. I'd use a tile distance counter, but the mod's never been made, like, in the way I want. Like a ruler. It doesn't exist. The closest is as said, mine made one. Oh no, they're running out. Yo! <laughs> Nice 25% pistol shot. Very cool. Unfortunately, they're still going. Oh man, that engineer is gonna die, I think. Did you get double flanked? Are you gonna get double flanked, I think? Without a dash. No, oh, Brenchar. If they can't make it to this stone, we're okay. Holy shit, the drone still exists. Fuck. Ah! Brenchar, are you gonna make it? Or was that a dash? Oh, thank god, that was a drone dash. That one wasn't, but you're not flanking Brenchar, thank goodness! <laughs> Got away with it. They tried to double flank me there, they did. They did. Just didn't work out for them. That was a close one for Brenchar. That was a really good suppression from them there, and I should have considered that from the start of the turn rather than the end of it. Scary, scary stuff. That's some very scary spice. That's affirmative. Now we need to kill these drones off. Absolutely, we do, we do. Probably with some uh, grenade help would be nice. Let's get this fight dealt with. Want to carefully push here because of like potential enemy overwatches. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. There's another one missing. I think I lost count at some point. I don't think my count's very good right now. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I don't think you should be able to flank me from that log if I go here. So we're gonna get grenades on the drones, most likely, or just shotgun one of them. What can you see? Not a lot. Maybe you AP these two? One percent to hit, you say? Oh, you can't see the, the drones. Yeah, okay, fine. Let's put it in the middle because you know how APs can fucking roll on drones. Just do it like right there. Yeah, I think these were the drones chasing Bondsmith, yeah. There you go. At least one of them's dead. Now I can shotgun the other one, perhaps. Move up, let's find out. Bum, bum, bum. Probably shotgunning the everyone makes the most sense. You won't be the, the target for getting mine freight either, so get rid of this drone, somebody. Somebody needs to. Nice, shooting. Well done. Kill that sectoid. Good try. You get a flanking shot. Come on. That's it! Target disabled. That's it, baby! That's it! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Come mm. on, oh, you will get flanked there. I kind of want you to put in, put you in half cover where you can just be gathered out of it, but I also really want to get some Overwatch going from out of loss. I think my best bet for it safely is here. Okay, cover us. You just move to here. Reload. I'm ready. We flash him. No, they're not close enough. Oh, they're still running. They're still coming in. No, oh, they see a P at the back! Oh, God. The problem when aliens have losses, they're pretty clever at avoiding Overwatch towers, actually. Oh, here comes the fucking drone. I think that's everything left on the map. I think this is it. That's why he's got the hook up here. why he's got the flank. This isn't height. Unfortunately, but it does mean I have no reason not to move down to here. Roger that. Hello, hello. Fuck. Negative ammo. I'm spent. Missed. Probably spend some grenades where I can just to finish the fight, like this turn. So, like, let's go like this. Hada. Somebody finish him. Get that low health soldier into a better position. Quickly. Can you shoot him from there? You can, okay. Come back to here, because that position, no bueno. Got him down. Got him down. Uh, you... Overwatch him from here. You, pistol overwatch. And you have a little bit of drone activity to deal with, huh? Roger that. Roger that. Roger that. Kill the drone on over what you can do it, one Smith, you're brave enough. Oh, they're just gonna straight up sit there. You a brave little fucker, aren't you? You a brave little fucker. You gonna make me transition to secondary on you, motherfucker. You gonna make me do that right now. 
taken care of. All right. The fanster says, so Incredon, how are you going to cook and serve that sector? What is this, like, like delicious in XCOM? That's affirmative. Oh, hello, drone. Hello, drone. Moving out. Let's start advancing on that drone. Let's get him. We're green to go. The drone calls. Hello, buddy. Get that nasty drone. Yeah. Up another one. There it is. No wipe on the UFO mission this time. Though it could have definitely gone that way with those sectoids. But we rolled some good rolls where we needed them in defense. Some good not get panics and not get mind phrase there that could have made that really sticky. Wasn't happy going in there with uh, just two engineers. But the two engineers were good. The shotguns are very important for keeping the drones back. That drone AI Overwatch trick is very, very useful for being masked by drones. I th I'd say it's really the main reason you guys don't spam me with drones, because you know I know the trick. If there was a trick like that for sectoids, probably wouldn't spam them either. But sectoids can't be tricked, that's why they're one of the smartest aliens. All the levels up. Yeah, we got, um... Mm, mayhem ain't... Ooh, mayhem for grenades. Ooh, Packmaster! Ooh, oh, I, oh, shoot! Ooh, 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 ooh. Or you can get paramedic and field medic. But it's probably gonna be Packmaster. Man, paramedic is so cool though. Um Ergo. Taxant! Snapshot. I don't think that's useful for engineers. You don't get any guns that need snapshot. So probably taxants here, hell yeah. Nice big taxants, actually. Very cool. Mayhem though, yeah, Mayhem is good for plus two damage on grenades, but also you could just have more grenades, which is probably better. I don't know. They're both good. New due donation from Oxian. Masterfully executed commander 20,120 dollars. Thank you very much, Oxian. It wasn't even mailed on that mission, Oxian. I appreciate it still. Thank you. Two dollar public public announcement. After the rest of you got a weapons, tack, tack, and support. We're trying not to promote tax until we get the satellite up. <sighs> 47 Illyrium on a crashed scout, god damn. Dynamic war goes crazy. I think it says action, inventory efficiency, both good. Yeah, that's right. Mayhem Grenadier is better for the first four grenades, whereas Packmaster, you know, you get two more grenades for later, so. Don't know. Packmaster does combo well if you get other things like smoke and mirrors or medkits later as perks. However, fire rocket also could combo well with Mayhem. Anyway, nothing to worry about for right now. Got an Intec computer too, yep, very cool. Remember that we've got 150 bucks here or so. Just waiting to be spent. Now, am I waiting on anything here? I've got two satellites coming, I got an uplink coming, so that's all good. Um, what's the next thing I would want? I would want an access lift, I want to get down to the steam. Because my plan is labs. And the labs go here. So I want to get those lifts building. I just want to hire more soldiers, though I don't need them yet. I don't need them until OCS comes in. That's when one of the Lance Corporals get promoted to the Corporal, right? I don't think it's Sergeant, I think it's Corporal. New due donation from Oxian. Huh. My apologies, Commander, you are correct. 10,120 dollars. Oh, Oxian, that's okay. I thought it was already at 20 and you were just reminding me. Oxian sent me another $2 to go back there with steak. Thank you. Very kind of you, Oxian. Thank you. Thank you, Oxian. I'd clap for you, but my hands hurt. I'd clap too much this weekend. What a weird thing to say. Um, <laughs> me? What a weird thing to say, me. Alright, yeah, I think it would just be building an access lift right now. I do need to excavate the here so I can get the OCS down at all. Also, the OCS needs a power to get built. 
So before any of that, you'd want to build a fission generator, actually. Oxy says, no fraud here. <laughs> no fraud here. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm glad this is a no fraud zone. Let's get a fission generator going. Illyrium is credit right now. Illyrium is just credit card. Remember that. I'm gonna spend it all. I don't care. Illyrium, that's credit. As long as I don't need it for research. Nope. Yes, but I'm not getting that later. Weaponry next. Yeah, charge it to the E card. Thank you. Put it on my Illyrium card. When's the first time you actually need Illyrium? Uh, like, in significant quantities. We were just starting to reach it in last campaign in, like, September. Then it'll change if I get labs, which is the plan this time. Pretty sure we didn't really need it before that. Though Foundry Projects, there's, there's a few Foundry Projects who do need it, actually. To be fully fair. Other than that, though, we're good. Um, I will need to buy more Interceptors, but not just yet. Not until those two go on an injury. So, you know, soon, but not just yet. Still early days, we kind of got everything we need going. And the only difference is I'm just spamming the Illyrium sales to get my base going sooner. So that's cool, let's, let's scan. Excavation complete. Need another excavation, please? Operational. Ah, that didn't take long. Need 20 bucks. Hey, I need 20 bucks. Somebody give me 20 bucks. 20 bucks, 20 bucks, 20 bucks. Where can I get 20 bucks? Hey, what if I just what if I just sold a flight computer? How about that? How, what, do you, what do you think if I just sold a little old... Uh, do I need that for anything? Let me check out some companion. I might need these early for the research path I'm going because I want to get Seekers immediately. Do you need alien computers for Seekers? I can't remember. Let's find out. Let's, let's check out my um, build manager campaign planner. Uh, alien weaponry, beam lasers, experimental warfare, advanced beam, thin man autopsy, alien computers. I have alien computers planned here for like May at this point. Uh, how many computers do you need for that? I have a feeling like I'm not... Like I have a feeling like I'm going to have more computers by then. Unless I'm stupid. You need four by then. That's two months to get four alien computers, which means you need to take some landeds. I mean, legitimately, you might not have that many by then if you want to hit Seekers immediately. What else do I have? Oh, I got corpses! <laughs> hey, what's this guy talking about? Just sell the corpses, eh? Well, sell the drone racks anyway. Alright, excavate that for me. So we can get on the early thermo. That's after the landed large, no worries. But don't talk to me about landed larges, they're not real. I want to get a lift going. But that'll have to wait till after fission generator anyway. Uh, for the lab block down here, I want to get started on the labs. Excavation complete. Yeah, that's fine. Okay everyone, enjoy yourselves. I'm not going to say anything. You're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive? Yes. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause neuromuscular... Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And interrogate it. Find out what they want. Where they're operating from. Yes. That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. 
I can construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander. Did you all know you can look this up on YouTube? You don't even need to watch my streams. You could just look that cutscene up on YouTube and just watch it on repeat. No one can stop you. Alien containment available for manufacturer. Targeting module available for manufacturer. I would like to get... When did I plan to do Xenoneurology in my campaign planet? Why did I shut it? Am I stupid? I am a bit stupid. XCOM Companion. XCOM... Companion Campaign Planner. I had Xenoneurology planned for After Seeker Autopsy. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, because right now we're going to go into Alien Weaponry, because Xenobiology gives you Sectoid Autopsy, uh, Sectoid Corpse Requests for free, I believe, so you don't need to do Sectoid Autopsy to get Sectoid Council Requests, I think. I'm pretty sure. Um, so we'll just go straight into Alien Weaponry, get that shit popping, but we need to get some labs up this time around, you know? Oh, Alien Computers is only two. I guess the... Costs are lower for research because of Dynamic War. That's nice. So we only need two of those. So I can definitely sell that flat computer if I need to. Tanganish one says Xenogenetics, I think, gives you sectors for scientists, which is top tier. No, that's Xenobiology. Xenogenetics. It's why you actually start Xenobiology, uh, I remember now. Xenogenetics is the one that gives you mail requests, which we can't do. Stoop says, you want to be able to get alien grenades right when mutants show up, I think. No, we're not going to get that. I can, I can tell you we're not going to get that. But we might be able to get... This technology lasers. has a number of potential applications. I'm sure the science team is eager to begin. I'll notify you as soon as we have something significant to report. General Spring says to something I said before, you don't want chat to answer if you're stupid. What do you think the percentage is of chatters who are smarter than me versus chatters who are stupider than me? What do you think the ratio is? There'd be like a middle percentage of chatters who are exactly as smart and dumb as I am. Do a poll. <laughs> I mean, but how would we test for that? You gotta just answer yourselves. I guess, yeah, I guess, however smart you think you are is how smart you are compared to me, that's true actually. Okay, that's fine, we'll do a poll. And the poll is... Yes. No. Exactly as smart. Allow additional votes? No. <laughs> Turn that off. A two minute poll. There's the poll. Stoop says, I would say that every chatter is smarter than Beagle except for PG. You realize it just makes me and B PG, BG. See? Band together. I'm calling him BG now. It makes me just make, make, makes me and BG pan, uh, pan together. Band together more. Why am I getting my B's and my B's mixed up? This is a fraud-free zone, says Cordons. People who answer 100% accurately. True. Is PG a Romanian foster child? <laughs> I still can't believe Dr. Vaughan expects our troops to try to bring one of those things back here in one piece. Much less alive. If I had a child in Romania, you would know about them, chat. I would have told you. What's the prize if we get the right answer? Yeah, as Lowboy says, one piece. Lloyd Boy, you think Brad was telling you that the One Piece is real? That's all I heard. The only thing I heard you say, Brad, was One Piece. Because that's building. That's building. Don't need anything new, right? Nope. Everything's good. Can't build OCS yet. Ah, I think we're good. What's the next thing I do? When this gets built, we want to build a thermo. We also want another access lift. We also want to excavate this. But well, that can happen next month. This can all happen in April. The next major thing we want to do when we have money, which we don't have right now, is build another access lift down. So after next mission, build another access lift down and start excavating for a lab block. That's it. New due donation huh? from child in Romania. <laughs> Father, it has been so long. When are you coming back with the goat's milk? You promised. And the poll results are in. 38% of you. 
think that you're smarter than me? Where's the full poll results? Why can't I see the full results? 33% of you think that no, you are not smarter than me. 29% of you think you are exactly as smart as me. Really? That's a, that's huge. That's really split down the middle. Almost, we're almost perfectly in thirds. That means if every chatter I meet or talk to, there's a one in three chance that you're correct. I wonder who's right and who's wrong. It means most of you are wrong, by the way. Wait, is that what that means? No, it doesn't. That really, that really isn't the takeaway from that poll necessarily. But we're gonna say it is. We're gonna say, we're gonna say that there was only one right answer there because it sounds so narcissistic. Because it's saying the only right answer was you all saying no. You're not smarter than me. <laughs> <laughs> Or I have like no self-esteem and the right answer, the only right answer was yes. So we're gonna go with that. There's a one in three chance that you were right on that test. And if you got it wrong, there will be consequences. Alright. Alright. Keep scanning. You may have the sector corpses. Go ahead. Guess what else is here, chat? Oh, fuck. That's not what I meant. Estimation mark, Top Gun raffle. Top Gun raffle time. I'm gonna pull one right now. Exclamation mark, Top Gun to be a pilot. I'm gonna draw one right now so the Europeans get a chance to be a pilot as well. This week only, tomorrow. If I'm streaming tomorrow, as I intend to, there will be no free European Top Gun raffle. <sighs> Where is the Top Gun raffle? Is it this one? Yeah, this is the exclamation mark, Top Gun one. Here we go. Drawing the first pilot. It's... Stu Little. Stu Little. Give- they even have the picture. Stu Little. Wait, no. Shit name, Stu Little. Wait, that's not right. Hang on. There you go. Get in your little plane, Stu Little. Contact detected. Go get him! Go get him, Stu. Don't fail us. We need that money. Engaging bogey. We need to build laboratories. God damn, Stu. What are you doing? Contact what are you detected. doing, Stu? We're in pursuit. Thornbez says I'm 100% smarter than you, but due to an illness that affects my brain. <laughs> I operate at 50% capacity. Sorry, I was going poggers there at the big crit on the UFO and the two shot. I wasn't laughing at your brain illness. It, it sounded like I was laughing at your brain illness, but I wasn't. I was laughing at how we just two shot the, uh, the, the UFO there. Anyway, um... I had a joke to mock you, but no, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> it's gonna say you're like a temporarily, temporarily embarrassed brain genius, but um... I feel like I've done it enough accidentally now, sorry. Another stream, another cancellation. I just spit on my keyboard. Fuck. <laughs> Your brain illness isn't that funny. Sorry. No, sorry. Second UFO. So when you find out later that person, that chatter is like dead serious. Like they, they actually have like a brain illness. It wasn't like some kind of like joke like it seems to be written. Everyone's booing. Okay, we're gonna have a specialist here in nine hours. That's good. Do you have any others? Yes, I have four other specialists. Good, so I can just take these ones. Oh, because it's the rookie crew from the last mission. So you four get to go on a back to back, double or nothing second UFO mission and see if you're any good. Though. I was gonna say I wanna take a Lance Corporal so I can get the Corporal and get the Officer Training School already. Jedi says, I said I was the same smartness in the poll. The past two minutes are making me want to recount so I can change my vote now. No refunds. No recounts. How far into Campaign 7 are we? This is Mission 4, UFO 2. So, I want you two, maybe you three on the mission, I think, because then I'll have you three on this mission, three specialists to carry it. Plus, because that last one was, was iffy with two. So three specialists to be safe. And then we'll have one, two, hopefully at least three specialists for next one, if not more. 
let's go. So... Inkridon, you're coming again. you got no say in the matter. You, you're gonna... You're gonna come on the mission again. And probably the two heavies. Now, Specialist Rocketeers kind of suck. So maybe a gunner? So where's this? Stop trying to kill my boyfriend. No, I, that's, that's, that's your boyfriend's job. Your boyfriend's job is to potentially get killed in XCO. That's their job. Hey, you, you don't like it? They can stop collecting their paycheck of... Oh shit, we don't pay them. <laughs> Oh fuck, we don't pay the soldiers at all. What the fuck? <laughs> you, 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 what the fuck? You just get like a lump sum of like 15 bucks. It's crazy. I mean, all expenses are paid. These are the most motivated soldiers in the world. Fighting for more than just capitalism. Capitalism has broken your guys' brains, okay? They don't need a salary. They're literally fighting for the Earth's defense. One time payment of 7.5% of a prototype jet. Yeah, it, it's funny money. It's Exco money. If you can buy a prototype, like, beyond top of the line Gen 6 fighter like this, right? For $200, what does that convert to, say, to the price? Of, like, what's an F-22? How much, how much does one F-22 Raptor cost to make? 350 million. Okay? So basically... 200 in-game dollars equals at least 350 million dollars of investment, right? It's not even counting the, what the program to create the Ravens would have cost, right? So, 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 so what does that mean for like 20 bucks that you get paid for being a soldier? Just divide that by 10, right? So we pay you 35 million dollars. A soldier costs 35 million dollars? That can't be right. That can't be right. <laughs> I'll sell you one alien corpse for four, like, what would that be? That's like a quarter of that, so that's like, it's like 50 million dollars. So I think they're getting paid enough. Okay, the point is they're getting paid enough. They're getting paid enough. <laughs> Lloyd fight. 50 million dollars! Ooh, wait, wasn't my shiv ready? Hey, hey, where's the shiv? Didn't the shiv finish? Ooh, should we take the shiv? Could the shiv actually be what we need? Rocketeer? Rocketeer? What was the other one? Weapon support. So engineer, rocketeer, and a shiv rather than a gunner. Maybe that's the way to go. Are you gonna change squad? I do, but I also gotta win missions. In March. Maybe the shiv is actually the way to go here. It really feels like getting XP on soldiers is too important. It is, but once we get the officer training school, it's less important. So it's not like an it's not like a permanent pain. It is still kind of early to get soldiers though. Like we do need to get soldiers, especially because you start with six but move up to squad size eight by the end of like April. Um, it is pretty important to get lots of soldiers now. But if you wipe, you don't get any soldiers. I mean, that's why we bought the ship, you know. It's just one less. And if that soldier died on this mission, you'd keep on playing. You wouldn't say the campaign's over. Maybe we do actually wait for the shiv. Maybe the shiv is just what we need here. That's right. The shiv trains the squad in the sense of eating wounds that would prevent our soldiers from going on missions. That's right. Bring the shiv. Who we are going to... Okay, so 35 hours left. Shiv is 13 hours away. Skip to that. Commander, we're detecting a new contact. Oh. Much larger than anything we've previously encountered. I recommend we scramble our best equipped fighters if we're going to engage that ship. Enemy is padlocked. No joy here. Should just be an abduction, right? More reason to bring the ship. 
Commander, Interesting. we're tracking several reported abductions via the Hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. She's not gonna be ready for that. Oh, it's barely not gonna be ready for that. It's like one hour off. We'll do this mission without the Shiv. We'll hopefully get some new specialists out of the UFO mission, and then we'll take those specialists, those newly promoted specialists, we'll exhaust them and take them on the UFO mission. That's how we're gonna handle this. No, don't. Tone, don't, no. No! No! No, it can't be! It can't be boxcar floaters! No, box boxcar floaters can't happen to me. Not this early. At least it's a light. Yeah, at least it's a light mission. So, that's probably all our missions for today is this this light and the next light. We're still in month one? Yeah, this is still month one. We're gonna be fine. We'll take you three on this mission. We'll get three more rookies. And then we'll take them on the next one. And, and you guys, you guys aren't even fatigued, so you can actually double up. And then, I can take you motherfuckers on the next mission, yes! And then you motherfuckers on the next mission can get to Corporal and I can get the officer training school. Boom, motherfucker. Let's do it. Okay, weapons, weapons, support. So, let me look at yours. We've got... 3 health, 65 aim, 4 health, 67 aim, 13, 11. So you should be the Rocketeer. Wait, no, there's two of you, I see. Oh no, you should be the Rocketeer. That's why, and you should be the Weird Gunner. Weird Gunner with low health. Damn, 5 defense, look at you. Maybe you should be the Gunner, because you're going to tank with suppression really hard. Maybe you should be the gunner, but you only have 20 will, which is why you should be the rocketeer. Okay, Zwei's the gunner, you're the rocketeer. The heavy weapons specialist provides a crucial service to the squad, with the rocket launcher in tow. There, there are, are demolition, demolition experts. experts. Terrible will roll, what the hell. Wait, are you meant to get like 10 when you stop being a rookie? Aren't you meant to get plus 10 will when you stop being a rookie? Oh, I guess fucking not. What the fuck? I swear that's a thing. I guess not in hidden potential. Wow, that's a... Uh, oh boy. Okay, Incredon, I think you're gonna become an engineer. Even though your mobility sucks. It's just what we need on the operation. You have a really good stat line to be a medic. Reasonable health, good will, high aim, high defense, but your mobility isn't very good, which also isn't good for medics. Medics also need to be places. So you know what? Make it work. Amazing aim. I hope you get, like, uh, shooting perks. Mobility is not sky high here. I could use someone of high mobility, and then probably just some more people like who are, like, shooters. Who's got some decent mobility with uh, good stats for me? I said good stats. God, you all min maxed in fucked up ways. Okay, Griffin, you're you're coming. Who else? Wow, your shit sucks. Yeah, okay, Patel, you can come, and then just give me like a shooter. Sure, Behar, sure. Exclamation mark raffle, get your chance to be a soldier. Rook with 40 will, that's a side. There was not a rookie with 40 will. Don't you lie to me. Oh my god, Timberman's at 39. Maybe it's possible. Holy shit, 40 will. That's actually insane. Where was Bahar? I lost Bahar. That's actually nuts. Um, we'll go with standard saw on this mission, I think. Yeah, it's gonna be better. 
is never a 40 you cool not terrible aim either yeah very large brains make it in smoke um yeah seems fine rocketeer bring rockets especially the shredder for the drones you can bring a carbine too i'll allow it Inkredon, bring in the grenades, yes please. And who's the mobility? Patel. You bring the motion tracker. Har and Griffin. Griffin, you bring the ever med kit, you're way ahead of me. Oh my god, Griffin looks like Hulk Hogan, for fuck's sake. You bring the AP flash, and that should be good. Wrestle count up to two. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it! Okay, medkit, medkit. AP, 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 HE, motion, rockets, shotgun. We only have one shotgun. I'd like to have two, but that'll do. A battle rifle's still not worth it. Uh, not on rookies. I don't want them on rookies. I don't think they can even. Yeah, they can't even take them. I don't want them on the rocketeer. It's the opposite of what I want on the rocketeer here. Oh, can rocketeers not take battle rifles? There you go. I haven't got anyone who can take them. Chuck on the love mob, yikes. Yeah, well. We'll make it work, won't we? Who is James Griffin? It's time to find out. James Griffin, exclamation mark raffle, is the Jesse Nomicon. I know that's not going to fit. Oh? The Jesse Nomicon. There you go. I put two ends in, so you can actually get a space in there. I mean, hell, I can actually fit it in just right. Actually, your name fits in snug as a bug. There you go. That was a Top Gun raffle. It wasn't. It just, just trust me, it wasn't. It says that, but it wasn't. I need to fix that. I know what I'm doing. Don't worry. Um, everybody just gets in the Top Gun now, okay? Just trust me. Trust that he knows what he's doing. Next up is... Dr. Danger. My favorite chatter with a name like a World War Armies unit. There. That's how you spell it, right? D-R-D-N-G-R. Dr. Danger. I just call you Dr. Danger. I've been doing that forever, I think. Tango Dash 1, you also win. You're in. You're all in. Okay. Rifle, 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 no. Rifle, carbine, rifle, rifle. Shotgun. So everything's gonna be great. It's all gonna work out. We're gonna make this shit work. Am I forgetting anything here? Two med kits, motion tracker, shotgun, smoke, rockets. Still haven't really used the flashbangs to any effect yet. They kind of have to go on a unit with Grenadier. But you can't build smoke and mirrors going to deers reliably, so it's hard. You like need the extra throw range to make them useful, it feels like. It almost makes me want to instead of bothering if them just bring another smoke, you know? Maybe this will be the, the mission where it convinces me to keep bringing flashbangs. Dr. Danger says, I've never survived more than two missions, so I'm excited to definitely beat that record. Let's go! Let's do it! It's happening! It's literally happening right now. Let's go. Strike one. Prepare for landing. France is sending an urgent mission request. Local <laughs> government forces have reported Blinky, you got auto on it. attack in a densely I knew populated it. neighborhood. They're counting on us to secure the area. Oh, and speaking of World War Armies, for some reason, um, that reminds me. I did say I would do this first, so hang on. Stream deck. I have to add the new sound. Hold on. It's important. I have to add it. I know no one wants me to add it, but I have to add it. Soundboard. Play audio. Hang on, I gotta mute myself for a second. One sec. Well, I gotta mute the sound for a second. Hang on. So you can't hear this hell. You can't hear this, right? You can't hear the sound. Good. I hate this fucking noise. 
You can hear it. You can hear it through like my mic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you can like hear it through my headphones, through my microphone right now. This one or this one? Alright, we're gonna go with this one. I'm gonna download this. I'm gonna throw this into the right folder and I'm gonna, I'm gonna add this shit right the f right the f now. Clean room, okay. Twitch streaming. Stream. Soundboard clips. If you weren't there for this sponsored stream, you don't want to know what the hell we're adding, but you're about to know. And as always, Chad, I need you to help me to get the volume right. I'm going to turn it on for you in a second. Where is Soundboard? There it is. Play audio. <sighs> it's called Hey Commander. And... Play. All right, here you go. Tell me what what volume this should be. Hey, Commander. <laughs> hey, Commander. I think it's be louder, right? Hey, Commander. I think that'll do. Right there is fine. <laughs> That's as loud as it can go right now, anyway. <laughs> On Operation Severed Heart. Hundred percent quieter. <laughs> Can you give one up music? I actually prefer this one. I think I actually like this one. It's funnier to me for some reason how it has music. Big sky. 